Hi, I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert and this YouTube channel. In this video, you'll discover the nootropic benefits of lithium orotate. Now, this is an update to a video I did on lithium orotate several years ago. You will learn why we use lithium orotate as a nootropic supplement. You'll learn what it is, how much to use or the recommended lithium orotate dosage, how many times a day to use lithium orotate, the potential side effects, and the best place to buy lithium orotate. So why should you listen to this video about lithium orotate? Because I'm personally adult ADD. And one of the things about those of us with an ADD or ADHD brain is our tendency to blow up or say inappropriate things that really bet with really bad timing. When I'm with my wife and we're together in the car and I'm driving and if I lose it in traffic because there's another driver that's just pissed me off, Larry doesn't say a word. She just reaches into her purse. She pulls out three lithium orotate tablets, hand them to me with a bottle of water, and within 10 minutes, I've calmed down. That's one of the many benefits of microdosing with lithium, and I'll be sharing all of those other benefits in the rest of this updated video review, so please stay tuned. Now, before we get started, if you find this video useful, please subscribe to this channel. Just hit the subscribe button down below and use the share button so that others can learn about lithium orotate and how it may help them with whatever brain health issues they're dealing with. They will thank you. So stay with me and I'll tell you more about lithium orotate. Let's get started. Lithium is a soft, silvery, white alkali metal, so it, it's so reactive that it sparks when it touches water, and that it's not even found in nature. Instead, it's found in mineral compounds, and oddly enough, in mineral water. Now, cosmologists believe that lithium was one of the three elements synthesized in the Big Bang, so it's been around for a very long time. Now, most of us associate with, with lithium with treating mental illnesses like bipolar disorder and mania or the lithium ion battery in your phone, which tends to blow up occasionally. Now, it turns out that antipsychotic medication lithium isn't even a drug. It's actually a mineral and part of the same family of minerals that includes potassium and sodium. Now, as a nootropic, microdosing lithium provides some amazing anti-aging benefits. Recent research shows that low-dose lithium may also help slow the progression of diseases like Alzheimer's, dementia, and Parkinson's. Low-dose lithium also helps neurogenesis and memory, and is a mood stabilizer. So, lithium is an alkali mineral and one of the trace elements considered essential for both animal and human reproductive health and general health and wellness. It was discovered as a chemical element in 1817. Lithium's first recorded modern medical usage was in 1871 for the treatment of mania. But the use of lithium for therapeutic use goes back to ancient Greek and Roman times. People enjoyed soaking in alkali springs to help with physical and mental illness. People have been using mineral springs for therapeutic use ever since. Lithia Springs in Douglas County, Georgia was so popular that people came for miles just to drink the water. The Sweetwater Hotel, a luxury 500-room resort, was opened in 1887 and attracted famous authors and business people and prominent politicians who came for the spring's health benefits. The name Lithia stems from water rich in lithium. Studies from around the world have shown the critical health benefits of lithium. One study using data from 27 Texas counties from 1978 to 1987 found that rates of suicide, homicide, and rape were significantly higher in counties whose drinking water contained little or no lithium. Another study of lithium levels in tap water in 18 municipalities in Japan showed standard mortality rates lower in places with higher lithium levels. And yet another study conducted in Texas in 2013 confirmed the original findings in that state. Drinking water samples from 226 counties found a correlation between lithium levels and suicide rates. Now, researchers who conducted meta-analysis of lithium levels in public drinking water suggested 
Increasing, and I quote, increasing lithium levels of drinking water could potentially reduce the risk of suicide and justify administering lithium to tap water, unquote. An article in The Lancet in 1949 by John Cade is credited for the modern medical use of lithium as an effective treatment for manic psychosis. The United States FDA approved high doses of lithium carbonate and lithium citrate in 1970 for the treatment of bipolar disorder. Carbonic acid and citric acid are mineral carriers used to transport lithium throughout your body. Doctors also prescribe lithium off-label for treating migraines, seizure disorders, and psychosis, usually after other treatments have failed. But as we dig deeper into the most recently published research on lithium, we realize this trace element is essential for optimal health and brain function. The lithium we get from our diet prevents many neurological and psychiatric problems. Microdosing lithium as a nootropic supplement, like lithium orotate, can help make up for what we didn't get from our food and water. Now, lithium is naturally available from fish, processed meat, milk, dairy products, eggs, potatoes, and vegetables. Your typical diet, dietary intake of lithium can range from 2 to 600 micrograms. Amounts vary depending on where the food is grown. Lithium helps brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, lithium stabilizes mood. Recent research has discovered that lithium's mood-stabilizing effects may be due to its ability to boost the production of new brain cells or neurogenesis. Lithium inhibits the enzyme glycogen synthase kinase 3 beta, or GSK3b. This inhibition upregulates brain-derived nootropic factor and insulin-like growth factor 1, which stimulates neural stem cells to produce new neurons in the hippocampus. Now, when neural stem cells produce new neurons in the hippocampus, mood and memory work is designed. But a breakdown in neurogenesis results in mood disorders. Lithium has long been known to control mania and stabilize mood in bipolar patients, but it has not generally been thought of as an antidepressant. Researchers in Tel Aviv provided the first evidence that inhibiting GSK3B exerted a rapid antidepressant effect in mice. Now, another team at Howard Hughes Medical Institute in Pennsylvania showed that feeding mice chow laced with low-dose lithium for 15 days produced a dose-dependent antidepressant effect. Lithium-induced gene transcription in the hippocampus, amygdala, in the hypothalamus, all areas implicated in depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, autism, and schizophrenia. And second, lithium protects your brain. Your brain cells are at constant risk of damage from exposure to toxins you may encounter every day from food, air, water, and your environment, and the excitotoxins produced by ordinary brain cell metabolism. Glutamate plays a major role in the synaptic plasticity needed for learning and memory, but overactivity of glutamate on its NMDA receptors causes neuron death and is implicated in Alzheimer's, Huntington's, and Parkinson's. Lithium inhibits this overactivity. Lithium also increases the production of the neuroprotective protein called BCL2. Researchers maintain that lithium is the only quote-unquote medication that has been demonstrated to significantly increase BCL2 in several brain areas. Lithium has also recently been evaluated in preventing and treating traumatic brain injury. In a study conducted in 2014, Dr. Peter Leeds stated that lithium had, and I quote, demonstrated robust beneficial effects in the experimental models of traumatic brain injury. These include decreases in TBI-induced brain lesions, suppression of neuroinflammation, protection against brain, uh, blood-brain barrier disruption, normalization of behavioral deficits, and improvement of learning and memory, among others." Unquote. In 1985, the United States EPA estimated that dietary intake of lithium from food in the U.S. varied from 0.6 to 3.1 micro, uh, milligrams per day. For now, for comparison, people who live in the Andes in northern Argentina consume 2 to 30 milligrams per day with 2 to 3 milligrams in drinking water. 
As your dietary sodium and caffeine increases, so does lithium excretion in urine, which increases your requirement for this essential trace mineral. Your exposure to stress and toxins from things like mercury, aspartame, MSG, biphenyl A, and other excitotoxins also raise cortisol and other stress hormones, increasing your need for more water-soluble nutrients like B vitamins, magnesium, zinc, and lithium. Low lithium levels are associated with depression and anxiety increases, memory and learning ability declines, insomnia increases, sensitivity to stress and chronic pain increases, natural healing processes decline. Adequate daily intake of lithium could help prevent many mental and neurological diseases due to this trace element's effects on the nervous system metabolism and its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. The clinical research and studies on the neuroprotective benefits of lithium are so overwhelming, some scientists are beginning to ask, why isn't everyone using lithium? Here's a summary of how more microdosing lithium using lithium orotate can benefit your brain. It inhibits apoptosis. Lithium inhibits GSK3, which has been linked to apoptotic cell death. NMDA receptors. Lithium reduces glutamate-induced toxicity mediated by NMDA receptors, which helps in mood disorders, Alzheimer's, and other autoimmune and inflammatory diseases. Neuroprotection. It blocks the development of beta amyloid tangles and plaque. Neurogenesis. Lithium promotes the brain-derived nootropic factor needed for synaptic plasticity and learning and memory. Lithium also boosts nerve growth factor and glial-derived neurotropic factor, affecting learning, memory, mood, and overall brain health. Neuronal stem cells. Lithium stimulates the stem cells needed to produce new neurons, or neurogenesis. Stabilizes mood. Lithium is known for providing a calming effect for healthy people, as well as those dealing with depression, bipolar disorder, and mania. Suicide prevention. Adequate levels of lithium has been shown to reduce suicide risk in multiple studies worldwide. Depression. Lithium helps with treatment-resistant depression. In fact, lithium has been shown to improve the effectiveness of antidepressant medications. N-acetyl aspartate. Lithium increases N-acetyl aspartate, which has been associated with higher IQ scores. In other words, lithium will make you smarter. The benefits of supplementing with lithium go far beyond just optimizing cognitive health. Lithium also helps decrease insulin resistance. It helps in the treatment of alcoholism and other addictions. It supports bone health. It balances your circadian rhythm and more. My personal experience with lithium orotate has made me a believer in microdosing lithium. I'm adult ADD and deal with mood swings from time to time. Now, if I'm going around the bend because something upsets me, I take five milligrams of lithium orotate. Within 15 minutes, my mood stabilizes and I feel normal again. Consistent use puts me in a happy mood. Now, many others report you'll feel the benefits of taking a low dose of lithium quickly, but for some, the full effect can take anywhere from one to three weeks. Microdosing 5 to 10 milligrams of lithium daily results in consistent results within a month or two for some. Now, I've experienced great results within a couple of days. So if you lash out at people in anger and you don't fully understand why you get so angry, it could be that your lithium levels are low. Many neurohackers with depression and anger issues notice results quickly. Within the first couple of days, you should feel calmer relaxed, and experience less stress. Now keep in mind that lithium at any dose is not for everyone. But if you get adequate lithium from your diet and water and still experience some of the mood swings talked about in this video, you could be dealing with other issues. You should know within a couple of hours of supplementing with low-dose lithium if this supplement is for you or it's not good for you. Now, for some, lithium orotate means feeling excited about life for the first time in a long time. Anxiety and social anxiety are no longer a problem, and life is more fun and enjoyable. Now, some say that lithium orotate works better than any prescription they've ever tried to treat severe depression. 
It provides a nice, smooth mood balance without all the toxicity associated with megadoses of lithium carbonate. Now, if you're dealing with PTSD or mild insomnia, you may want to try lithium orotate. Focus could improve, racing thoughts diminish, and motivation levels could increase. You'll have more coping ability. A study at McMaster University in Canada set out to determine the effects on hippocampus volume in bipolar patients who received lithium therapy. The researchers examined the effects of lithium on hippocampal volumes and memory performance and recall for over two to four years with 12 bipolar patients. The patients had not received any type of medication prior to using lithium. The study found increases in hippocampus volume over time and evidence of improvement of verbal memory performance over the four-year measurement period. The researchers concluded that res the results of this study were consistent with the literature stating the neuroprotective effects of lithium and that long-term treatment of lithium is associated with preservation of memory and recall due to increased hippocampus size. This applies to aging, too. Twenty-four adults recovering from heroin or methamphetamine addiction participated in a study in San Diego. The group, group A received 400 micrograms per day of lithium taken orally for four weeks. The placebo group B took a non-active placebo. Now, the subjects completed a mood test questionnaire containing questions about their ability to think, work, mood, and emotions. For the lithium group, mood test scores increased steadily and significantly during the four-week period. The lithium group also reported significantly increased levels of happiness, friendliness, and energy. Group B showed no improvement during the same period. The researchers concluded that low-dose lithium provided a mood-improving and stabilizing effect. In this study, 42 alcoholic patients were treated with lithium orotate during alcohol rehabilitation in a private clinical setting for six months. The data was collected from clinical practice records for the, for the 10 years following the initial study. The patients received 150 milligrams of lithium orotate daily for six months along with calcium orotate and magnesium orotate, bromelain, and essential phospholipids. Ten of the patients had no relapse from three to ten years. Thirteen patients stayed sober from one to three years, and the remaining relapsed between six and twelve months. The researchers concluded that lithium orotate therapy was safe in treating addiction and with minor adverse side effects. Lithium retains a grim and undeserved reputation, in my opinion, likely because it was originally associated with serious mental illness. And like most medications, lithium can produce serious side effects if not monitored properly. Lithium carbonate or lithium chloride salts are typically prescribed for long-term control of bipolar disorder at 900 to 1,200 milligrams per day. That's a lot. The major problem with such high doses of lithium are some very serious and debilitating side effects. Now, for nootropic use, I suggest lithium orotate, which typically contains only 5 milligrams of elemental lithium. Lithium orotate is erratic acid combined with lithium. So if you get a 120 milligram tablet, for example, of lithium orotate, 5 milligrams of that is lithium and the rest of it is erratic acid the carrier. Erratic acid reportedly makes lithium more bioavailable than lithium carbonate. The lithium is released once it crosses the blood-brain barrier, so you'll get the benefits of lithium supplementation while avoiding the toxic side effects of using high-dose lithium. Lithium orotate recommended dose is 5 milligrams two or three times per day. Now, listen to the section later in this video called The Type of Lithium Orotate to Buy for more on lithium amounts in the in nootropic supplements. Many neurohackers use lithium orotate only as needed. For example, when feeling anxious or in the middle of a mood swing. Now, for someone with bipolar disorder or manic disorders, increasing to two 5 milligram tablets up to three times a day may be more effective. 
Naturopathic doctors suggest using 1,000 milligrams of omega-3s and 400 IU of vitamin E as mixed to cofferols each day that you're using lithium orotate. Do not confuse lithium orotate with lithium carbonate. The carbonate version of lithium is only available by, by prescription and comes with a host of side effects. Lithium orotate at low dose is non-toxic and no blood tests are required to monitor your lithium levels because it does not even show up on blood tests. Lithium orotate should not be used if you're dealing with a significant renal or cardiovascular disease, severe dehydration, or sodium depletion, or if you're taking diuretics or ACE inhibitors. Do not use lithium orotate if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. And check with your doctor if you're on any medication before you're using lithium orotate. Mother Nature has already put the antipsychotic drug lithium in drinking water. And you get some lithium from food depending on where it's grown. Supplemental lithium orotate typically comes in 120 or 130 milligram capsules or tablets containing only 5 milligrams of elemental lithium. The rest is erratic acid. Now, I personally had the best results with advanced research lithium orotate, for which I'll include a link in the notes section down below this video. Just click the more button and it'll open up the notes section and you'll find the link there. So that's my report on lithium orotate. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for lithium orotate. Or click on the link below in the notes section of this video, which will take you to the full transcript of this video on my website. Now, once you're at my website, Nootropics Expert, you'll find a full transcript of this video, but you'll also find dozens and dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics over on Nootropics Expert. And if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details on 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And make sure to get your copy of the second edition of my book, Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. Head First, the second edition is 962 pages and is available in hardcover, paperback, or for iPad or Kindle. Now, you can get your copy at any major bookseller, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Balboa Press, Apple Books, Walmart, and others. You'll find a link to these stores down below in the notes section of this video. Please get your copy today and leave me a review on Amazon or Barnes & Noble if you would. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar down below in the notes section. If you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.